going to slide off my right shoe this time so I can sit down. Again, for my body size, it looks like it works just about perfect to be at her sacrum so that my arms can comfortably reach here. I'm not really pulling with my arms, pulling with my arms. What I'm actually doing is more like leaning with body weight. So if I had somebody that was really super tall and I was very short, I might have to scoot higher. But wherever you're sitting, it's gonna change the angle and leverage. So if I lean back, pretty good. I'm looking at her ibrometer there, checking out her face. I'm gonna jostle her shoulder to get her to let it go. Give it to me. Right in there. How you doing? Yes. Feels it up there. I'm gonna see if I can work around her shoulder blade just a little bit. So I think this passive body contact is like a huge component of what we do that actually makes the work really great, but that's just me. How's that? Like when I pick you up, move you around? Yes. There we go. Really big pulls. Now, does it feel better when I roll you back and open or when I pull down? Um, I like that. Back and open, okay. So I gave her a choice. I gave her two essentially directional pieces. I said I can pull straight down towards your tailbone or I can pull back and open, like chest opening. And she chose the chest opening. So I'm gonna grab around the shoulder blade again and then pull back, over, open, Everybody's range of motion for this can be wildly, wildly disparate. But this is a way I'm going to soften up the area, introduce her to my touch, and I'm going to bring it down a little bit. How's that? Good. Now, I've uh, varied reasons for opening the session the way I just talked about. One of the things I really like is now I have worked on her, I have introduced myself, I have connected with her, and she's, you know, close on, we're able to go ahead from this point and go, listen, do you want to go ahead, like let's say we just did 10 minutes, I'm going to make up, I haven't looked at the phone. If we did five minutes on each side, what that means is I can say, listen, do you want to go ahead and take off your top and bra so we can do deep tissue with you face down in the face rest, or... Do you want to keep doing what we're doing? Okay. Okay. And here's what happened. Very rarely somebody would say, no, I kind of want the, the deep tissue or whatever it was they thought they came in for. Most of the clients said what she just said, which is, no, this is really good. Can we keep doing this? And I'd go, sure. And here's the thing. We save time because she didn't have to take all of her clothes. We save money on laundry. We save money on oils and lubricants. It was like a win-win all the way around. And as a male therapist, it meant that I was able to develop connection and trust and intimacy with the client without having any other issues before like nudity was introduced. And I gave her the option because now I've, I've moved her around to see where the problem is. I could very easily just go ahead and continue with what I think of as a normal massage but she's actually like, no, this is, this is pretty good. Like, you know, let's keep working on this. Do you want to still just uh, keep working up here a little bit? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. So I can feel here around uh, the rhomboids, around the, the paraspinals. One of my big uh, postulates is, remember when we were talking about uh, trapezius? I think that trapezius in many people is actually weak. The posterior chain is weak. It's the stuff in the front, the pec and pec minor, that's tight, that's shortened, that's pulling them into kyphosis. The other issue that a lot of people are having is when they're dealing with the rhomboids, I think the rhomboids, as much as we love like digging an elbow around their shoulder blades, I think that the issue is that's not really where the problem is coming from. The rhomboids are weak. 
The rhomboids are lengthened like the traps, that posterior chain, so that people are slouched forward working on a computer typing all day, right? So the issue is, as I'm working on people, I find it very easy to go ahead and work with them to do this, to be able to pull them back and open. So I'm starting to address the issue she's having problems with, which is in the pecs, which is in the pec minor, but I'm doing it by lengthening that area. 